Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 24th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, showing the last two days of imagery on our sun, as we did have that X-class solar flare early this morning that was reported from the cresting limb, left-hand side, other than that, not much has happened. So long duration X-class solar flare, class of a 3.5. So very strong. And having a look at it here, amazing imagery of our sun from the cresting sunspot region, 3889. Looking at outgoing here, look at that large plasma tornado spinning around the surface of the sun, equatorial region. Amazing images here. Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Here's a closer and slowed down look at that X-class solar flare. Did have some activity from the Earth-facing sunspot region just before. A lot of plasma associated with this solar flare. I did show imagery of the coronal mass ejection. We have some updated imagery here. Having a look at multi-spectrum, we do have two coronal holes that are Earth-facing right now. And that could increase our solar wind speeds upwards between 4 and 500 kilometers per second over the next 24 hours. You can be watching for the geomagnetic instability and small solar storm impacts. And keeping an eye on those large plasma filaments that have been stretching across the surface of our sun. Looking at 131 angstroms here. As we have seven sunspots on the Earth-facing disk of our sun. Strongest flare be event being the X3.5. And there are our seven sunspots. Now let's have a look at these sunspot regions in motion. The big conglomerate collection of sunspots that are turning into view is where we saw this most recent x-class solar flare stay tuned i'm sure those sunspot regions will be producing more flare activity over the next little bit current space weather conditions we are under level three strong radio blackout impacts expected solar winds are coming in at 333 kilometers per second right now Solar X-ray flux showing here that big spike into the X3 range. Long duration solar flare. Early this morning, proton flux is low, slightly elevated over the last couple hours. Geomagnetic activity saying a KP2 after being up to a 4 yesterday. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center, they already have an updated CME spiral from this most recent event. Having a look at the impact time and date at the top. We are going to get a glancing blow from this solar storm. It was not directly Earth directed. But as you can see here, this space weather spiral, we will be seeing a glancing blow 26th of October. So two days from now, ISPA space prediction spiral showing here, large coronal mass ejection. Little yellow circle there on the right hand side is Earth. Tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow's Aurora view line. Expected KP index of four, geomagnetic zero. Having a look at Alaska three, showing since the la since the twentieth of October. When I did produce a video back on the 20th, there was a bunch of missing data. It's all been tied in together now, as well as this most recent coronal mass ejection right there. And when you get the activity and the cosmic energy all around the center disk in this view, that means it is on its way to our planet. So we are set to get a glancing blow 26th, and we may see some Aurora Borealis. Northern lights due to these solar storms. Now let's have a look at earthquakes over the past 24 hours as that has increased as well exponentially. 
Pretty deep earthquake today. Papua New Guinea, 614 kilometer depth. Expecting something very large over the next 24 hours across the Pacific Plate. 5.0 reported here. Kermadec Islands, 344 kilometer depth. 5.1 there. Marianas Trench, north of the trench. Volcano Islands region, as well as 4.2. Yonakuni, Japan. 4.3 earthquake. Sumatra. And as well as sizable, this is the, well, not largest last 24 hours, but largest today, 5.7 Mid-Indian Ridge. Quiet across Hawaii. Then we get to the United States coast and Petrolia, California, seeing a 4.4 earthquakes followed by a 4.0. Small swarm is occurring through the region. Nikolskoy, Alaska and Atka, Alaska, 5.0, 4.4. But having a look across the United States, USGS is reporting 274 earthquakes across the whole map in the last 24 hours, most recently being at the 4.6 in Colombia. But looking across the United States, minor activity, New Jersey, Lafayette, Georgia, and as well Arkansas with a 1.9. Notable seismicity at Yellowstone and north-northwest up into Montana. And of course, here across the West Coast and up into Oregon. Looking at about 10 earthquakes here in the region since the 4.4. Heads up, my friends and family. Activity is definitely increasing across the California state and up into Washington and across Alaska through the Aleutian Islands. Looking at South America, Chile with a 4.7 as well as 5.0 in Peru, 5.0 in Chile, quiet across the Atlantic right now, only reporting the 4.1 that was uh, reported yesterday. North Atlantic towards Azores. As well as 4.6 here in Yemen. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Quick glance now at the last seven days for shakers and movers across our planet. Largest being the 6.2 earthquake that struck south of Kamchatka yesterday. Very close in vicinity to the active volcano regions. All the deep activity here, Fiji, and into the southwest ring of fire is a little bit concerning. So heads up, my friends and family, you live in an earthquake-prone zone or along the coastline, just have a plan. Be ready. That's what this is all about. Hashtag no fear here with the Duke crew. And thank you for watching. Heads up, Wanda Puka Plate up into Alaska. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting 67 volcanoes. Big plumes coming out of Mexico through the Popocatépetl volcano and as well Kamchatka, eastern Russia and through the Aleutian Islands. Central Africa still seeing a major exhaustion of sulfur dioxide emissions coming from two very active volcanoes near Miragongo and near Miragira. Overlooking Southeast Asia, South Africa, Australia. Big plume through the South Indian Ocean. We also had that 5.7 earthquake. Wouldn't surprise me if we had an eruption at the Heard volcano, which is in the South Indian Ocean. Only active an erupting volcano in the South Atlantic, or sorry, South Indian Ocean. Now let's get to weather here, as we do have typhoon warning now affecting the Philippines, and it's going to be heading straight west into Thailand by Saturday into Sunday, and then another typhoon develops. Looks like it's going to just miss the Philippines and head northward, but the one that hit Thailand is going to circle back into the Philippines and is going to linger around there, so... Stay tuned as these forecasts can change quickly. 
overlooking Africa, Europe, South America. Strong low pressure system here affecting Ireland and the United Kingdom, eventually spiraling into France. By Saturday, Sunday, big high pressure ridge moves in and low pressure system gets trapped in the Mediterranean, spinning around Portugal. Big low develops in the North Atlantic by the long range. And then looking across North America, as we're going to see some big changes here over the next little while, we do have tropical system. Oscar remnants of it will be affecting the Atlantic provinces, mostly Newfoundland. But big system coming into the West. And these systems will be developing a lot of snow in the long range forecast. First winter storms definitely on the doorsteps here for North America, but mostly Canada. And look at the size of this low pressure system in the long range forecast here for the 1st of November. Just a massive low here south of the Aleutian Islands, grinding up into the BC and Alaska, bringing days upon days of moisture. Atmospheric rivers. It's kind of a new thing over the last few years, but they're definitely becoming a big problem. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide by natural disasters. Stay safe and healthy out there. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.